Hey guys, look fuck here and welcome back to the FIFA 18 player review and today we're the 88 rated Wolves team of the season central midfielder Ruben Neves. What a season he has had for Wolves. Um, fantastic season for him and a very much deserved team of the season card. Uh, he did cost me 64,000 coins in the 8 games that I did play him with. He scored me 2 goals and got me 4 assists and he does have a freestyle weak foot and freestyle skill moves. And then getting into his in-game stats, his main standard stats are his 96 shot power, his 93 short passing, his 91 long passing and his 85 ball control a very well balanced very nice looking card and uh, this is going to be one of the more usable players from the EFL team this season purely because he's from a very good nation um, he can link up well with uh, Yota who is the left wing player for Wolves as well obviously Wolves have had a fantastic season it's going to be good to see them actually in the Premier League next season and if they can keep Yota and Neves as well as some of their other players they will not get relegated so but Neves might leave. I don't know. I I hope he joins Liverpool, but if not, I'd like to kind of see him stay at Wolves and just see how we can progress there with them in the Premier League. But uh, anyway, enough of Wolves. Focusing on Ruben Neves. I really did enjoy him. I thought he was a fantastic player. I originally started him off with uh, when I was doing the Viger review in my second team. I sold that team because I don't usually like having a second team. I just prefer having one solid team um, to use, and I've decided to put him into that team as my CDM. I played him as a centre mid and a CDM. And uh, I'm going to tell you what position I do prefer him in. Anyway, so getting off into the first part, it is going to be his passing. Um, passing stats, fantastic. 93 short passing, 91 long passing. I don't tend to make massive 40-yard um, passes in the air usually, but technically a long pass can be included as a very long through ball in which Nevers can make those with no question. Also, um... He did get me the uh, four assists in eight games. Very nice return considering half the games that I played him with were in a CDM position. So that's very good to see as well. That uh, Despite him playing in a CDM position, he's still able to uh, get involved with the attack of part of the team, which is obviously very nice as well. But uh, no, passing stats, absolutely fantastic. Also, 89 vision is very important. 82 crossing, I wouldn't look into that too much because the chances are you're going to have other players who are going to be more advanced positions. For example, your central attack of midfielder um, or even wingers if you use those who are going to be or should be responsible for making crosses so that's not an area to worry with um, but you know for passing stats vision uh, short passing and long passing are the main areas to look in and he certainly delivers well in that area his second pro is going to be his defending and I mean defending Oh, just overall, whether that be interceptions, tackling, strength even, he's good in all those areas. And this is why I like playing him in a CDM position is because his defending stats are very, very good. They might not look, you know, when you look at them on the cards, his defending stats look okay. They don't look fantastic, but actually in-game, it's an another part of this card, which I just absolutely love. So 84 interceptions, brilliant. 78 strength at the heights of 5 foot 11 may not look fantastic, but actually in-game is very, very useful. And also his 85 stand tackle is also very useful. Uh, for that CDM position. That's where I think you're going to get the best out of this card, in my opinion. And um, defensive-wise, very good. Made some crucial tackles for me as well. Also, because his passing stats are so good, it's really good to be able to kind of pick up the ball with this guy in CDM and be able to start off attacks with him because he's got decent pace, decent dribbling, although not the best. That's why I never put him as a cam because his dribbling is not fantastic, but it's okay. Um, in terms of his shooting stats, personally, I was a little bit disappointed with them, if I'm totally honest. I mean, his uh, shot power and long shots, don't get me wrong, look great but that 76 finishing really does put down uh, his finishing stats unfortunately which was a bit of a shame and I think because his finishing stats is so low it does impact the shot power and long shots usually and that's why my only two goals came from penalties otherwise I think it could have been a lot more effective uh, with, 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 with goals from outside the box and stuff like that if his finishing stats had been a bit higher so maybe if you wanted to be a little bit more of a threat in an attack of position I would recommend putting up a stat that increases his finishing because that could be vital to this card being very good in attack of play but overall I was very happy with this card personally I liked him in a CDM position that's the position that I like to play him in most for his defensive and passing um what he can do in that area so that's that is where I'm going to continue to play him, but I think he was definitely worth the coins to get. I was really, really happy with him, and uh, hopefully he will continue to uh, progress, you know, IRL for Wolves in uh, the coming years and all that kind of good stuff. But anyway, guys, that's going to finish off this player review. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.